like imbecile or like Some idiots dumbass or, or like or like degenerate or something like that. I'm Booby Holiday, aka the Boobster, Doctor Boobs, DEA. I'm here with my homie. He'll introduce himself to. I'm Sap Evans, aka Hazel Brains. But probably not gonna go by that anymore. It'll just be Sap from here on in, just to keep continuity, you know, easy. And we're with the King Image. Yeah, yeah, we are, live and direct. What are we? What are we doing here today? Oh, we're gonna break down some lyrics. We're gonna, yeah. Some lyrics from the, the new EP, Lifewood. For all the idiots. Yeah. All right, I'll start off with Fell for the Plug. A lyric that people have been, you know, hitting me up about is, closed-minded, bet the groupies and the sprinter. Who's your baby daddy ho? And if he saw you right now, would he kill us? Would he let us go? All right, so that one is pretty self-explanatory for the idiots, but just, you know, you gotta be mindful of who you bring around because a lot of people have crazy partners and you will die for that pussy or that dick. So, watch out. You will die. It's a guarantee. Hard fact. One day. Uh, I might have to pull the phone out to remember it. I had it and I copied and pasted it because I figured I would forget. But it was... Smoke from a stick, not za that you sniff. I need hot sauce dribbling, and one loss. Check Nike is definitive. All your shit derivative. And I pulled that one out because the other day, Sticks asked me what derivative meant, and I had to explain it. And then, you know, basically, <laughs> this is this is a show called Idiot. So, you know, we're we're right on brand. But I had to explain it, and I pretty much got it right, you know, and I just think a lot of people um, have no originality whatsoever, and you all suck, so do better. That's really what that's about, right there. I think that's kind of what the whole EP is about, you know, it's just... Do better. Yeah. Just do better. Every much. day. Just a little bit every day. Just a little bit. Goes along. One way. by one, you know. Alright, the next song is uh, West Texas. Uh, featuring Lil Sticks, so shout out, shout out to Sticks. We do really love Sticks. That was just, you know, caught a stray for no reason. <laughs> Sorry, but rap game a box of lies, cashing in on death, take a breath, get ostracized. And, you know, that's also pretty self-explanatory. I just think this shit is, you know, very, uh, what do you call it, predatory, and just, uh, you know, you could die. Um, I definitely feel ostracized, and I hope you do too. <laughs> We're ostracized. <laughs> and circumcised. <laughs> and a half. And a half. Shit. <laughs> you never told me that before. <laughs> Malpractice. <laughs> Folks hit a nigga on camera. Mm. I'm down south laid up with a dancer. Mm. Three in my cup, that's the answer. Big drum on me, Star Spangled Banner. Okay, so, you know, some people die on camera, and that's okay. I'm down south laid up with a dancer, and usually they have fat asses. And three in my cup, that's the answer. That's a reference to uh, codeine. Don't do codeine, kids. And uh, big drum on me, Star Spangled Banner. I'm a patriot, and I like my Second Amendment. There you go. So the last song is Alone with Duct Tape. Shout out to Duct Tape Jesus. Shout out Duct Tape Jesus. The homie. Um, I don't know, why don't you, why don't you go? What's your favorite line? Uh, that, AKA, your mother's favorite dealer. Price is so low, they feel killer scream six. Coop or gorilla. I'm cold like Nigerians on Grand Street selling fake chinchilla. Yeah, so that line in particular, um, I'm your mother's favorite dealer, and the prices are low, they feel killer like Scream 6, uh, RIP to Scream, we won't talk about that, but uh, Cooper Gorilla, that's a reference to Benito, and we all love that, mm -hmm. from Chicago, it's spiritual, 
and I'm cold like Nigerians on Grand Street selling fake chinchilla. Uh, in Soho, you will find a lot of Nigerians on Grand Street selling fake chinchilla and other triple A designer bags. Those Nigerians are resourceful. They they hacked my last Instagram. Very resilient. It's a Nigerian job. You'll find a Nigerian in every country, in every continent. The only, so, the so only people you can find in every place. They have set up everywhere. Yeah. Shout out Africa. <laughs> I really like, uh, I think, where I said, uh, drink it in by the ounce, wish I could take it by the liter. Every verse, every beat, every single thing I do, I make it ether. Because, you know, we're, we're real thespians and, and we're real artists and, you know, we're sensitive about this shit. And, uh, you know, the pressure's on. Just don't get too comfortable because this is, you know, brand new year. This is just the beginning and uh, I know it's only three tracks, but, um, you know, there's, there's more in the cut. It's the so beginning. It's just the beginning of something new. Either base cocaine. <laughs> Apparently today, everybody has. We have Tree Sap Evans and Teddy Holiday today. Two of the best rap music artists over 30 in RBA. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet for me. <laughs> so, on the topic of being 30, do your bones hurt? They do, actually. He looked down at his knees. <laughs> This morning I had a thing where my knee, it was just walking through the kitchen and my knee had a pain that shot all the way down to my ankle and it was, it was, it hurt really bad. It was almost crippling. Everything hurts since Fernando my gardener left. Mm. Yeah, more. I think you guys should start a show called Life After Hype Beast. <laughs> We'll look into it. We'll look into it. We got a couple other things in the works first, but explain all the money you wasted on clothes that are no longer in fashion. Damn. I think it'd be easier to explain the clothes that no longer fit. <laughs> um, New Balance. Uh, I think New Balances are uh, overrated, actually. Not to disagree on that one. I think that <laughs> underrated, especially in a trap scenario, if you need to get out fast, New Balance is the way to go. Oh, you're thinking more of like a functionality sort of thing. Yeah, just being aerodynamic is a really important thing to me. Okay, all right. I think, you know, I, I never really thought about it from that standpoint. I think uh, aesthetically, they're overrated. Um, but, you know, function wise, I guess I, would, I stand corrected. Uh, John Lennon glasses. Are those the circular ones? Mm -hmm. Kind of like the, the pre-Harry Potters? Yeah. Um, I, you know, at this point, I think also overrated. Um, you know, once people see something come back like that, you know, everybody jumps on that. But we need more glasses like this, for real, for real. That's where I'm at, I think, on the whole glasses front. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say John Lennon glasses definitely overrated. The guy got pussy once and just couldn't and then stop seeing. Got anybody. shot and died, and everybody's like on his dick, you know. Receiving oral, that or, Sid, would you prefer, you know, one one at a time or sixty nine? That overrated, right? What sixty nine? Is it overrated? Sixty nine. What are we married? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? It's overrated. <laughs> overrated? Is that where you're going with? Overrated? I enjoy, I enjoy a good 60. <laughs> I was going to say underrated. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah, we, wish it could be every time like that. But mm. life is rough. <laughs> life is suffering. And yeah. can't be like that all the time. I prefer not to multitask unless I have to. What's the multi? You're, you're doing one task and the other person's doing the other task. Maybe use your hands a little bit, you know. And then I can just sit there uh, and just be. You're lazy. <laughs> Vintage culture. Vintage culture? Mm -hmm. Throwbacks. What are you going with? What are you going with? Are you going with? Uh, I mean, underrated, I guess, because I, I prefer to dress like I'm in an 80s cartoon. Mm. I'm a mm. real, you know, get a lot of my fashion inspo from Stranger Things. <laughs> I think, I think vintage culture is, 
I'm gonna go with the secret third answer, and I think it's like just the right amount of, of rated that it is. I don't think it's under or over. Um, you know, it's it's you can't really do something different until you know what was hot before. You know, and by bringing certain things back like that, you know. But influence, it's all about nuance and influence. You know, again, don't just take somebody's shit. That's why.